Yes, Manchester United will beat Arsenal come on Sunday in the Premier League at Old Trafford. Now, this is one of the games that Manchester United needs to win. If there was a game that would prove to be very crucial in Arsenal winning the, in the, uh, winning the Premier League trophy, it's this game. Because as history has shown, Arsenal doesn't have the strongest record at Old Trafford. They don't. They have beaten us a couple of times at Old Trafford. I remember they beat us in 2006 at Old Trafford. Adibayo! And they beat us, I think it was, what, 3-0? I think Aubameyang scored twice. I believe it was in lockdown. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, they have beaten us a couple of times. But all across the board, Arsenal doesn't have the bragging rights at Old Trafford against us. So due to history... They're on the they're on the receiving end. They're, they 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 don't have the broken right. So in this game, playing at home against Arsenal, we can beat Arsenal. Now Arsenal this season has been terrific. I have to admit, I can raise my hands up. Is me I have to wait to raise the white flag and say Arsenal this season, just like last season, but I believe they have been more cutthroat this season. Although their season didn't start off that way, but as their season progressed. They not only scored more goals, but they are more clinical and they get more clean sheets. So that is something that they have improved and Havertz of theirs have improved as, you know, he's been up in the goals. So all of this considered and given our injuries, let's go to Manchester United again because this is, a, this is a Manchester United channel. We have had uh, a lot of injuries, definitely in the department of our defenders. We have defenders that are injured. Varan Milota Glass, um, Martinez, as everything I got stated, is back, but he's not ready. He's, you know, what what everything I say. He's he he's, he can't wait. Like he's very, you know, he he wants to actually play, but he's just not ready because that could just mash up his his recovery and he can get back injured. Speaking of injury, Mason Mount is back injured, man. This guy is back injured. This virgin can get a good sniff of fresh air and not be injured because he's injured again. I was signing this guy for what? 60 mil from Chelsea. Number seven, you know. Big number seven, he's injured again. So all of these injuries can prove one thing and it will show the how competent as a manager everything is because he was asked about Van Gaal in his press conference. Is me. And if you remember in 2016, let's go back, what, two, uh, four, yeah, four, eight years ago, when Rashford came on the scene, we had a lot of injuries. Memphis Depay was injured. I think Marcel was injured. We had crucial players that was injured. Wayne Rooney was injured, I believe. We, our main players were out. So Van Gaal, with the hand that was forced, had to play players from the academy. Yes, me players from the academy, you know, Lingard was playing, Varela was playing, board with Jax was playing, Rashford came through, and boom, we beat them 3-2. We beat them 3-2. We didn't get no clean sheet, but we beat them 3-2. And if you look at the squads, these lineups, if you compare the lineups, Arsenal had a stronger squad. But we go beat them at home 3-2 with our youngsters. So this should not be an excuse to you say if we go lose this game is because we don't have our strongest squad. That's no excuse, man. You're a manager. You need to find out what if you if you need to take the risk in pulling, you know, some youngsters. I don't think we are in that situation where it's that desperate to. But if we need to go pull some players, which is not desperate, but you know, just saying, then pull them from the academy. But I believe we have enough players to start, so there's no need for that. But the point is that Van Gaal won with that with that squad 3-2. So if Van Gaal could have won, and this wasn't even a prime Van Gaal, let me just say that. But if he could have won Arsenal with that squad, man, and Arsenal came second place that season, mind you, we can beat Arsenal this in this game. Even if it's not our strongest squad, we can still beat Arsenal. Arsenal has a mental blockage at Old Trafford. This is not new. They have a mental blockage at Old Trafford. They know that. So them coming to Old Trafford, seeing that they're on the brink of winning the Premier League 
as, as well as fighting off Man City, their biggest nemesis in terms of the trophy charge. And Liverpool is looming. Liverpool is behind them. I mean, mathematically speaking, Liverpool is still in the title race. Because I want Liverpool to win it. As, as impossible as that so. But Liverpool, uh, Liverpool. Arsenal coming to Old Trafford. This is one of the oldest rivalries in Premier League football since the early, since the late uh since the late nineties. When Wenger came to, to, to Arsenal in the mid to late nineties, he re he rejuvenated Arsenal. Arsenal was always a, already a good side. But the type of football Wenger brought to Arsenal that saw out his tenure to two thousand and eighteen that rejuvenate that 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 you know that rebranded Arsenal as a top tier club, and their football that that was based on because of Wenger. Now with Sir Alex Ferguson, who has been at Old Trafford for 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 a good while, ever since the late nineties, uh, even in the FA Cup final win against Arsenal with that Giggs goal. In the FA Cup semi uh, final and winning that winning that game with Giggs goal. The rivalry has this definitely in the 2000s has gone on in the 2000s, mid 2000s, the late 2000s, and it see out its peak in the 2010s. That's where the decline of the rivalry because it wasn't as big. But Arsenal was on the decline. Man United was slowly on the decline, but it wasn't as steep as Arsenal's. Because when you're bid now and Marwan Shamak and Jovino as as your forward line, that's not that's that's a spooky that. That's not Arsenal in its prime. When you have Will Toward, Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp, it's a different dimension. It's not even a question. It's be so. It's not the same. But this 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 fixture still holds weight. Still holds weight because of its history. Is me, and Arsenal. Let me say this: Arsenal in their invincible season. They came to Old Trafford and beat us 1-0. Silva and Will toward goal. And go in the, trophy, uh, the, the Premier League at Old Trafford. Now that's not going to happen Sunday. Because in my opinion, my strong opinion, my strong belief is that Man United will beat Arsenal on the day at Old Trafford in two days time. So it doesn't matter where Arsenal is in the Premier League. When they come to Old Trafford... That messes up with them, them head. They, they, again, bro, when was the last time Arsenal beat Man United at Old Trafford? This is me. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. And all the way I've lost games at, at Old Trafford this season that we shouldn't have lost. If you look at the top teams this season, I think, whoa, whoa, did, did, did Man City beat us at Old Trafford this season? I'm forgetting right now. I can't remember. But aside from Man City, we beat uh, in the Premier League. We draw against Liverpool at Old Trafford and we're losing. We beat, um, I, believe, I believe, did we beat Tottenham? I can't even remember, bro. The point is that against top teams, we have a decent record. Especially sides that try to play football and give us space. So if Arsenal is trying to play their football, like they did last season. That's why we beat Arsenal last season. You know, because because of Arteta's naivety. Go play high line against a, 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 a fast-paced Rashford in space. Rashford got two goals in that game at Old Trafford last season. So I'm not sure if he's going to change your post to accommodate Olan. To, uh, to, to, well, Rashford is not the same Rashford this season. But the fact is... We'll, we'll see if he's going to still play that style of play of exploiting space behind. You know, playing with a high line. Because if you come at Old Trafford and do that, man, we're going to beat you. That is why Liverpool didn't get three points from us at Old Trafford. Because they didn't play high line. If you go give us space to play football, although we're not good at playing football, but if you give, give us space, we'll, go, we'll take advantage of it. And we have. Is we don't have the most clinical players. Our forward line is very inexperienced. And we don't have senior players, but we can still take advantage of that. 
Rashford can take advantage of that. In his woeful form, he can take advantage of that. Uh, Gonacho, who has been in decent form lately, he hasn't been making noise much, but he, he's a threat. Anthony, no, Anthony is no goal threat, but on his day, he can make something happen. And we have seen that at Chelsea, away from home. Away from home at Chelsea, we've seen that on the right hand side. Amadiolo, when he gets his when he gets things ticking, he can he can make things work. Hoyland given most chances, man. Hoyland is not slow. He's not a slow player. So if this guy gets the ball in space, he's going to run at the, the goal the, the goalkeeper and try and try to score. No, he's not the most clinical striker. But the point is, if he's given enough chances in space, he's going to score at least one of them chances. And Arsenal, uh, Arsenal, I don't know if Arsenal is going to catch on that, but if they go give us space at Old Trafford, Old Trafford is not a small stadium. It's not a small field at Old Trafford. It's a big field at Old Trafford. So if you go give us that space at Old Trafford, we are going to take advantage of it. So those are the weaknesses that we can... No, we're not going to... Let, let me say something. <laughs> let me say something. When it comes on to playing football, we're not, going to beat, we're not going to beat Arsenal in that department. The best way to beat Arsenal is counter-attack. We're not going to take control of that game. We don't have the midfield to control that game. We have a past, pa, past his prime, Casemiro. Because he's past his prime. We have a young, steady midfielder. Who is going is going he's going to be a big midfielder in in the future that's kobe minor uh 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 Amrabat, let's not do this, this this guy should not be playing against arsenal as sub or start he should sit on the bench and see what that game if he plays we're going to lose not because we're going to lose the midfield battle but he's just not he's just not quick to catch up with the style of play of arsenal they're going to knock balls around him and he's not even going to catch up with it. He's going to run out of breath. He's not fit for that type of game. So that leads... Um, see, this is why we should have kept Fred, but that's another conversation for another day. But see, this is the type of game, man. If you want some stability, is if, if we're going to lose that midfield battle. We're not going to win against Arsenal at the midfield battle. If they play a midfield of Odegaard, who is going to most likely play, definitely they can rise... And Jorginho, they're, they're going to win that midfield. But it's not even a question. So let them, allow them to win that battle. We have other things that can work in our stead. Then that's counter-attack. You see me? They're, going, they're, not going to, they're not going to lock up shop against us. Because if they go lock up shop, that's going to stifle them attacking. And how they attack is transitioning. So they're going to push up, which will allow the center box... That's uh, Gabriel and the other French guy, forget it, Saliba, as I would call him, the baby Virgil van Dijk, up to the, cent the, the center circle. And woe unto them if they lose position because we're going to be counter-attacking and we're going to be counter-attacking that space. So these are the things that we should keep in mind as we play against our most fearsome rivals in the Premier League. Is a Man City. Liverpool, dude, man, hey, at the peak of this rivalry, even Liverpool wasn't up there. Our rivalry with Liverpool wasn't up there with Arsenal. That wasn't our big dog in the in the early 2000s, mid 2000s, and even in the late 2000s. Our primary rivalry was Arsenal. Arsene Wenger was the arch nemesis of Sir Alex Ferguson. Is me? That was the rivalry. Van, uh, 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 Van Isseroy against Thierry Henry. Yes, me. That was rivalry, man. That was rivalry. Right now, it don't have hold up weight, but it still has accolades to it. This game is this this fixture is still a celebrated fixture. Yes, me, and it's one to look forward to. So, it doesn't matter if Trussard is starting on the left, man. We can still style for them. And this is where I believe Wami Saka needs to be on his game because his 1v1 tackles is very significant to how Arsenal attacks. If Martinelli starts on the left-hand side, 
No, Martin is not the most skillful player, but he's very pacey. He is a fast player. So if Wan Bissaka gives this guy space, and Martinelli knows how to use the pace that he has to exploit the space that he's given, that could work to the detriment of Wan Bissaka. We can't allow that. We cannot allow that. Is me so? And if Jesus starts, who is not a clinical striker, although he says he's not a striker, whatever that is, we need to still throw. We can't give him space. We see what he did. To Dalo, I think Dalo has PTSD moments from that incident last year. And that was this season. Early this season at Emirates Stadium. Cut out him belly. Cut, you know, he's out of play. He's gone out. So he, he slide back to Portugal. And Je Jesus go score. So with all of that being said, we can still get, get three points against Arsenal. Arsenal will not win. They can get a goal, we can give them a goal, but they're not going to get three points. And this is why I believe Arsenal will not win the title. I don't want Arsenal to win no title. It's me. Before Manchester United, anyway. Ars we, dude, Arsenal, we can't allow Arsenal to go beat us at Old Trafford. When they go beat Spurs, well convincingly, trust Spurs. Spurs was like diabolical. Them go beat Chelsea five nil. Five nil, you know? Five nil. They beat uh Wilson B. I can't even remember. I think I believe they, they beat uh Liverpool as well. Uh, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not sure. Oh they draw against Liverpool. Um but the point is this one we can't allow Arsenal to be on this goal scoring rampage against us at at our home. Bournemouth beat us 3 0 this season last year. Aston Villa tried to get one over us until Hoyland, you know, got his goal scoring boost and go scored the winning goal against us, although we were losing. So there are other sides that have beaten us or have tried to beat us at home. But this fixture against Arsenal, that cannot be the case. This is a long standing beef that we can't allow where we we, we allow Arsenal to be we can't allow Arsenal to get three points. Against us, man. Not even a draw is good enough. In it. We need to win this game. We're in the eighth place out of European comp European advancement. We need to get these three points. So it's not just to only to beat Arsenal stopping them from winning the title. I don't even think they're going to tackle anyway. But the point is this. We have to go beat them, number one. And in beating them, we, 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 we improve our chances of getting uh, this this sounds stupid but i'm gonna say it anyway but we improve our chance of getting europe uh, qualifications we can't be out of europe man that is going to be that's going to be detrimental to us making money because as as manchester united a mercenary club like manchester united out of european qualifications that's bad for business that's bad for business and because it's bad for business we're not going to get no quality players in the summer and because it's bad bad for business, if Manchester United takes out the chopping block and sucks everything hog, which quality manager go come in and start and start things? And we're out of Europe. You see me? So it, it's a lot of angles to come at, man, in the in in, in, in this game. But it's ain't about the, the, the hierarchy of my I'm talking about the football. I just wanted to touch on that to make my point. Arsenal is coming to Old Trafford to try get one over us. They're not, because you know, Seman City is not going to stop winning. Although I still believe, and I'll say it, and I'll still believe it, I'll still, I still want Liverpool to win the Premier League. Because I've said it before, I don't want Man City winning the Premier League four times in a row. And because of my hatred for Arsenal, because of our ongoing rivalry, they haven't won the Premier League since Hurricane Ivan hit Jamaica in 2004. And that's over a decade ago. That's almost. That's what. Uh, that's uh, that's that's a decade. No, that's twenty years ago. Two decades. Two decades. So we can't allow that. We cannot allow that. So give Liverpool the Premier League. <laughs> and I hate Liverpool as well. So if me want Liverpool to win the Premier League out of the rivalry of Man City and Arsenal, you know, say that's much. That that says a lot. 
But back to this game though, I want to finish this. But I just feel the spirit of of preaching. I'm a, I just want to preach, man. The fact is this. We cannot give Arsenal an inch of space to beat us on Sunday. We can't allow that. Because that improves your chance of winning the Premier League. Whatever happens with Man City and, and Fulham tomorrow. The fact is, if Fulham loses to Man City tomorrow, the pressure is on Arsenal. The knees of Arsenal players are going to start shaking because the pressure is on them. Man City go hang with them business tomorrow. Them beat or uh, they beat Fulham. Case in a case scenario because of course I want Liverpool to win the Premier League. But if they go beat Fulham tomorrow. The ball is in Arsenal's court to go beat us on Sunday, which won't happen. You see me? So that improves the chances of them losing against us. Because pressure boss pipe, man. They know if Man City go beat convincingly Fulham tomorrow and them go have us to play at Old Trafford and they know deep down they don't have the best record at Old Trafford, that's going to mess up with them psyche. It doesn't matter what type of form they're on. It doesn't matter what type... It doesn't matter if they're in 18th place in the Premier League table. If they come to Old Trafford, their Old Trafford record is unsatisfactory. It doesn't look good. It's very stinky, actually. It's, it has a stench to it. So if they go, if they go come at Old Trafford, they know so they're not going to get the win as easily. This is not Chelsea. We're not Chelsea. We're not Spurs, man. So this cannot... Them goal ramp, them goal scoring uh, rampage can continue against us. Believe it or not, it can't. It cannot. This is why our starting eleven, which I'm going to get into right now, after all of this, you know, this preaching, is going to be vital as to what the result will be after the ninety minutes and plus twelve minutes at a time. Is because you know, say in those type of games, you ain't go have no one minute, two minute, four minute at the time in extra in, in, in after the 90 minutes. It will be some eight minutes, 12 minutes because people go so waste time. So, because of that, it's going to be one of them over 100 minutes type games. But the starting 11 is going to be crucial for Manchester United. I don't care who, who, who starts for Arsenal because, like I say, they won't have the, 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 the they won't have. Them coming at Old Trafford is going to mess with them head. It's going, it's going to mess with them head. It's going to mess with their head. So in goal, Onana. On, and Onana has not been... Onana hasn't been... Onana hasn't had the best of... Uh, hold on. Haven't had the best of season. That is not... That's not new. Because this virgin is moving like he's some goal scorer, man. He's trying to beat Lionel Messi's... From, Lionel, he's trying to beat Lionel Messi's goal scoring record since 2012. In 2012. And he's a goalkeeper. Oh, you go try to beat Messi's record and you're a goalkeeper. So, Onana in goal. One Miss Saka must start at right back. Saka, man, listen man, Saka can be handled by Dalo. You know, Dalo, Dalo can handle Saka. Because Saka go cut in and try to sum. Centre back. Centre back starts... Uh, I'm going with um, not the young French guy because he ain't ready for this game. He ain't seasoned enough. He's too raw. He's too green. So that leads me with um, Johnny Evans. And now, yes, Johnny Evans got skinned on Monday night against Crystal Palace. But who is he going to start at centre back? He ain't going to play Casimir at centre back. We can't allow that. So, Johnny Evans with Har Maguire. Har Maguire has been. As much as I hate to say it, he hasn't been, he hasn't made much mistakes, you know, at least lately. Left back, as I've stated, is Dalo. Now, in midfield, this is where it's crucial now. This is not asking. Kobe Mano will start. Bruno Fernandes is back, as stated from Eric Tengag in his press conference. Mark Tomney is back. Um, so we have midfield options. Point is, one uh, Kobe Mano starts with Casemiro. Now Casemiro has not been well, has not been playing well this season, and that's no that's no secret. 
That's no secret. Everybody, hey, dude, Ray Charles can see that this virgin is not playing well this season. And he's blind. So if he can see that, I can, we can see that. He's not been playing well this season, but he's going to start. He has experience. He has been in, you know, top tier games all of his career to, since 2016 when he was at Real Madrid. So we still, we can't bench him. We still need to play him despite his poor form because he could actually have a good game against Arsenal. Bruno Fernandes will be starting. Bruno Fernandes, yes, will be starting as our captain. Right wing. Anthony will, will, will be starting on the right wing. Garnacho will be starting on the left wing. And as the centre forward, Rasmus Hoyland will be starting as our centre forward. So that will be my starting lineup. Leave your starting lineups in the comment section below. My score prediction, which will be a win, because I stated that will be Arsenal, um, will be a two. It will be a two-one victory. No clean sheets. What? Do like I said, man, Arsenal can get himself a goal, but they're not, they're not going to win. And this game will not be a draw. It will not be a draw. This game will be in the favor of Manchester United through a win. We're going to win this game against Arsenal. And we have to go believe that we're going to beat Arsenal, not only in this game, but stop winning them from winning the title. And we need to get European qualification. Is me? Yes. So, 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 my prediction is a 2 1. Leave your score predictions in the, in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell as well that, so that you can be notified on each. Oh, like I said, man, we have to beat this. We have to beat Arsenal in this game. No hands or buts. No second guessing. We have to beat them. I don't care if we go score two goals off our off our knee pads. Get them two knee pad goals and win this game. You don't have to be the most glamorous on the eyes type of game or the most enticing game. We dude man. If we go beat if we can beat Arsenal six uh in two thousand sixteen using our young squad, always a way different squad from Arsenal's today, but we can still do that at Old Trafford. The mental blockage is still there. They don't have the best record against us, man. So we have to use that to our advantage and our leverage and go beat this club from winning the Premier League. Comments down below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, our brothers out. Look out for my match reaction. Come on Sunday. See you then.